Hello and welcome um, to the presentation of some new products from ETI range. Today we will talk about the correct procedure in the selection of overcurrent protection of solar inverters with AC voltage 800 volts. So, uh, there is few procedures, uh, few products uh, regarding proper protection of AC side of solar inverters. Uh, this is the example of string inverter from one very famous producer and uh, there is a lot of technical information connected with this product. You can see technical data and types, uh, input side, output side, everything uh, there is written rated AC grid voltage 800 volts. Of course, today we are speaking about this range. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, there is written for output protection, there is written maximum external AC overcurrent protection is 200 amps. It's not written which kind of protection which characteristic everything is depends about installers and uh, proper procedure how to make decision about protection of uh, on e AC side so protection is not defined <coughs> uh, this is example of pv installation with string inverters and combiner boxes uh, proper protection must be selected on AC side of the inverter, definitely. Um, uh, on the market e exist a lot of procedures, but today we will see some examples how to solve this problem. Uh, on, from the customers, and uh, I can, we are receiving a lot of information about use of uh, so-called uh, semiconductor fuses for the protection of uh, of outputs of uh, inverters protection. Uh, there is a competitor's product technical characteristic. Uh, you can see that uh, it is designed for 800 volt AC, and breaking capacity 65 kilo ohms, and characteristic is GR. This fuse is very good, but we need to know that uh, application where such fuse is installed should be very carefully calculated. As I said, power dissipation 25 watts and braking capacity 65 kilo ohms. There is also information about pre arcing integral and total uh, integral of the fuse. Comparable ETI product designed for 800 volts AC, also with rated current uh, 200 amps, but with a characteristic GG. Uh, we can see that power dissipation is much lower, 16 watts, and braking capacity is 120 kilo ohm. Pre arcing and total integrals uh, are also different comparing with this um, competitor product, uh, which we saw on previous slide. Uh, let's see what is the difference between bit different characteristics, GG, GS, and so on and so on. Let's take uh, fuse with nominal current 100 amps, which is loaded with five times nominal current, so with 500 amps. We can see that breaking range of GS or GG is between 2 or 4 seconds. Breaking time of GR characteristic is 150 milliseconds. So GR is 30 times faster than GS or GG in this uh, maintained uh, range of uh, power current, five times. 
similar, similar uh, characteristic is uh, if the same fuse is loaded with 10 times nominal current, so with 1000 amps. Breaking time of GG is 200 millisecond and breaking time of GS is 15 milliseconds. So in this range, 10 times nominal current, GS is much, much faster than GG. It's 13 times faster than GG. Uh, in standard, IEC 269-4 are defined uh, complete technical requirements for fuse links with GR and GS time current characteristic. It is uh, the name of this standard is supplementary requirement for fuse links for the protection of semiconductor devices. So there is difference in non-fusing current. GR has 1.1 1 .1 nominal current and GS has 1.25 nominal current. It is important in real <coughs> application if fuse link is selected properly. There is a usual diagram of uh, solar inverters which need to be protected, output of solar inverters need to be protected with fuses and also complete uh, line could be, should be protected with fuses, but selection of this, this, those fuses is important. Installation cables between points 1 and point 2 should be protected with GG. Fuse links with GG characteristic. It is important. Inverter AC short circuit protection and connection cables between this one, between output of inverter and point 1 should be protected with GS fuse links. Fuse links with GR or AR time current characteristic are not suitable for the protection of DC AC inverters installation on 800 volt side. Because GR is too fast for cable protection, has much much higher, high, higher power dissipation and too low braking capacity. So, as we saw on our previous slide, GS fuse links should protect cable and power semiconductors on AC side and GG are designed for protection of connection cables. ETI has quite a big range of NH fuses uh, for 800 volt AC. So, uh, size double zero, size one up to 160 amps, size three up to 315 amps. Uh, it was regarding GG. Regarding GS characteristic, we, we have again size double zero GS up to 125 amps. Size 1 up to 315 amps, size 2 GS up to 400 amps, and size 3 GS up to 500 amps. Regarding requests from the market, we are ready to develop some new type or new rated currents and so on. We are very open regarding this request. Regarding uh, fuse bases, we can offer usual PK00, uh, zero, zero, PK1, 2, and 3 usual fuse bases, or horizontal fuse switches connectors type KVE, and uh, fuse switches connectors different types. Some pictures GG uh, range up to size 3, 
and GS range also up to size 3. That would be all for now. Uh, in case of any additional questions, please contact me. And uh, I will stop sharing this presentation. And uh, thank you very much. And goodbye.